handsome, Dan? You a good boy? Michaela Chester here. I'm with Andy Wittry, who's been doing extensive research on NCAA.com for us on mascots. This time, Andy, you did the Yale Bulldog. Look, there's a ton of Bulldogs in the NCAA. What makes the origin of the Yale Bulldog so special? As we know, Bulldogs is one of the most popular mascots in the NCAA, with 17 current or former Division I schools with the nickname. But Yale stands out because it was the first one to be nicknamed the Bulldogs and the first school to have a living, breathing Bulldog. So back in 1892, as the story goes, a football player and crew athlete named Andrew Graves allegedly purchased a Bulldog from a blacksmith for just five bucks. And this is the original Handsome Dan mascot. So that's the story that everybody knows, but you were able to find out a different story. What's the whole story behind this? So I talked to Yale University Chief Research Archivist Judy Schiff, and she actually said, I'm glad you called, because every time that she checks a website, it seems like there's new additions to the story that aren't totally true. So she said, I'm glad that you called to kind of straighten out the history and figure out the true story. So Judy told me that originally there was a different bulldog whose name was Harper, who actually existed in 1890, so two years prior to the first Handsome Dan. And even Handsome Dan, the first one, you know, the story goes, okay, he was just purchased from a blacksmith kind of off the street, just kind of this, you know, not stray dog, but kind of a street dog. That's actually not the case. They have the original kind of show medals that this was a show dog. He won prizes and won awards. And so this story has kind of grown over the years to, oh, this is the first dog. He was purchased from a blacksmith. But he was actually a very good kind of award-winning prize dog. So Handsome Dan was a show dog. What kind of tricks could he do back in the day? Back in the day, the original Handsome Dan, he was taught to, quote, speak to Harvard. And so he would bark and get himself all worked up and get angry and kind of go ferocious at, you know, Yale's rival, Harvard. There was one time where Harvard, they had made kind of a fake bulldog mascot. They would put some bed sheets and kind of some linen together and they put a sign up saying, where's Handsome Dan? And it was at a football game and then the real living Handsome Dan came out and kind of tore this fake bulldog to shreds and tore it to pieces. There was one time during a baseball game, actually also against Harvard, where it was the seventh inning, the game was tied, and Handsome Dan ran around the bases to kind of spark a rally. And so he knew all these tricks, especially in regards to rival Harvard. Wow. I'm sure there have been many Handsome Dans now to this day. So how many are we at now? Yale is currently at the 18th Handsome Dans. The lineage is almost, you know, 20 Bulldogs strong. And kind of the funny story there is that, you know, I mentioned that Yale had the very first mascot ever in the instant day. So the original Handsome Dan, who once again was not the first, Harper was the first, but the first Handsome Dan, he was around in 1892. Eventually, Andrew Graves, the student, took him to Europe, which is where Handsome Dan passed away. And it turns out that the second Handsome Dan in this lineage, he didn't come around until 1933. You remember that Yale, they had the first mascot. They didn't know that you could have more than one. So once the first one kind of went off to Europe and passed away, they're like, okay, well, that's, that's kind of it. And it took him almost 20 years to realize, wait, we could actually have a second Handsome Dan, keep the name going, and kind of keep our tradition of the Bulldog going strong. Well, luckily they figured that out. Now we have tons of live mascots in the NCAA. Thanks, Andy, so much for sharing your research on the Yale Bulldog. Thanks, Michaela.